Bonjour, welcome and welcome back to French Action. And I have to say a very warm welcome to those who are new to this channel. This is French Action for you and French Action is a channel for all those who want to learn French or who have already done French before but who want to improve their level of French. And on Sunday afternoons at three o'clock Jamaican time, because yes, I am in Jamaica, we are trying to do something a little bit different for you. It's just to get some guests for anything to do with French. Last week, we talked about the TAPIF program, TAPIF program for all those who want to spend some time in France or the French territories in the Caribbean. And after that program, I received some calls uh, asking me, but you know, you said that we needed to have B1, but how can we get to B1? So I decided to contact the Alliance Francaise and ask the director of the Alliance Francaise to come to this live today. So he's with us today. But before that, I just would like to say to all those who are watching, please subscribe if you want to know more about those lives because the reality is that I don't know when the next live is going to be because I'm relying heavily on my guests. And sometimes the guests are not available. So obviously I will have to do it another time. So I never know if I'm going to have a live next week. So if you subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell, you will know exactly when the live is going to be because YouTube will tell you about it. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to ask the director of the Alliance to come and I'm asking Larry, La, pardon, Larry Lamartinière to come. Larry, are you there? Bonjour tout le monde. Hello, Mylène. Bonjour, 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 Larry. Comment ça va? Ça va bien et toi? Ça va très bien, merci. Um, well, as I said to Larry, it's going to be very strange today because we have two French people who will have to be speaking English. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> But remember, the program is for you. And it's for those who may not know any French at all. So we're going to speak English, okay? And Larry can speak very good English. So you, there won't be a problem with that. So Larry, sorry, sorry, I should say Larry <laughs> <laughs> in the French way. <laughs> Alors, Larry, can you tell us where you come from? Well, first of all, Milena, I would like to thank you for having me on our French Action today for this live session. It's really uh, a pleasure to share about the Alliance Francaise with our Jamaican um, people. So, um, as you can see on my last name, I have a French last name, but yes. I am actually from the Caribbean, um, tiny island of Martinique. Um, so, yes, I'm from there, and I moved in Jamaica. Um, it's been one year and a half now as director of the Alliance. Okay. And do you like Jamaica? Oh, I love it. <laughs> it is, uh, it's very similar to where I'm from. You know, we really share this Caribbean um, identity and culture. Um, but it's also different because Jamaica is a very big island for me, um, yes. coming from a small Caribbean island. For me, Jamaica is actually pretty big. Um, and Jamaican people and culture is very, very nice to be immersed into. And uh, it's, a, it's a pleasure being here, even though uh, the circumstances right now with COVID I know. are mm -hmm. not the easiest. But um, I'm very happy to, to be here to experience Jamaica for a second time. Um, because it's on my first time. What do you mean, second here. time? I, I'm, I actually, I've been in Jamaica seven years ago as an oh, exchange okay. student. 
at UV oh, Mona. Mm -hmm. Yes, so I did my studies back in France. I studied um, international relations. But coming from the Caribbean region, I always wanted to also experience um, other islands to have a better understanding of how things work uh, outside of the French Caribbean. And for me, Jamaica was always a dream to come to. So I, I got the chance and the opportunity through that program to, to have done one year of study at UWE. And ever since, I've been in love with the country. And I always wanted to come back. And here I am. OK. Well, so you're lucky because you applied for the post of director of mm -hmm. the Alliance Française, and you got selected. So. Yes. Congratulations. Thank you. I, so, I think that the fact that I was there before also really helped in my um, application oh. for the job. Yes. yes, I can imagine. Yes, yes, yeah. that's true. But still, congratulations. Thank you. Merci, <laughs> <laughs> Um So you are the director of the alliance and uh, something i didn't say to the to the audience at the beginning is that you don't have to be in jamaica to to uh benefit from what the alliance is going to offer okay right. so uh because of the pandemic i understand that you have classes online is it is that right exactly yes okay. that's that is one of the positive outcome, I would say, of the, the COVID is the fact that we were in a way um, forced to change the way that we were teaching French because we are a school that is based in Kingston. And before COVID, people would have to come to the office to have their classes, you know, face-to-face -face classes. And we had to close and to reimagine how we would deliver French to the Jamaican people and the online classes were the right way to move forward and that allowed us to reach out to people outside of kingston which is a great um oh, yes. already result but also um what is even more interesting is people outside of jamaica now taking french classes with us and other type of classes i think we will be able to talk about because now we even have french people from Martinique, from Guadeloupe, taking Patois, Jamaican Patois classes with us. So, so you see you're the... actually offering Patois. Yes. Jamaican <laughs> Patois, wow. Yes. Can you tell us a little bit more about that, please? Okay, so this idea came from the fact that um, Alliance Française, in every Alliance Française in one country um, has to be like the bridge between French culture and this country's culture. But we fought with the president of Alliance, Mr. Pierre Le Maire. Why don't we also be not only the people that teach French in Jamaica, but the people that export Jamaican language and culture to the French speaking people? And Jamaican Patois is one of the reasons I would say that Jamaican culture is so loved everywhere in the world, you know, with the music um, uh, that really helped um, get this language uh, on the international level. And I think of songs from Bob Marley and the dance soul music, the reggae music, all these people speaking in Patois helped this language being a World War language. And we figured that there were not many ways for other people to actually learn Patois, and especially the French people who really mm -hmm. love Jamaican culture. I, I'm from Martinique, so I know that um, many people in the French Caribbean, for instance, listen a lot to reggae music and to dancehall, but they don't yes. really understand. Um, That's right. The lyrics. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so why not give them the tools to really get a better understanding of this great music that Jamaican offers us. And we developed this idea of a patois class for the French speaking people. And it's been a real success, I would say. We are very proud of that. And uh, this, yes, this is something that we really 
uh, want to continue. And that was also one positive outcome of the COVID because of now it's online class, you know, so we can reach out to people from everywhere. Everywhere. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's brilliant. That's really good. Okay, so now let's go back a little bit uh, to the French. Right. Okay. Uh, do you have something to share or can I just ask you questions? Um, yes, you can ask me questions. I, I have a little brochure that really um, really tells you a little bit more you want about to share it? Sure. Do you want to share it? Okay. Yes. So, so go ahead. I would share screen. Mm -hmm. So whilst you're doing that, I'm saying hello to everyone who is uh, sending some messages. I can see a lot of messages, but um, <laughs> because I'm listening to Larry, so I'm not uh, really reading everything, but Thank you very much for your support. Can you see my screen? Uh, I Oh, yes, I do. Yes. OK. Right. So this is a little right. brochure about Alliance. OK, Company. so I'm just going to put it in full. OK. OK, so that you can see it better. Right. So, okay, so can you tell us, even though it's on the screen, but it would be good if you could. Yeah, so I will first of all explain yeah. to our uh, viewers what is Alliance Francaise, because mm -hmm. it's it's really important for, for them to understand that it's an international organization. I think it's the biggest foreign language international organization in the world. So it was founded in 1883 by um, some very famous French people like Louis Pasteur, Jules Verne. Um, the idea was to have an organization that would help to spread the teaching of French all over the world. And now we are a network of more than 500,000 students in more than 140 countries. This figure has evolved since. And the Alliance in Jamaica, well, uh, Jamaica also has its own Alliance Francaise. And we've been in the island since 1956. And um, we are the language center of reference for the teaching of French, but we also are an exam center and a cultural center. So to sum up, the Alliance Francaise uh, here in Jamaica has three main missions and objectives. Uh, which is the teaching of the French language, um, being a place where people can get certified and having their French uh, internationally recognized. And we also are a cultural center. Uh, so we organize events relating to the French culture, like uh, the film, French Film Festival. Um, we have events with schools in Jamaica where French is um, is taught um, francophonie dans les écoles. We we are, I would say, a very dynamic organization. Um, and yes, this this is something that, as I said, you would find in almost every country in the world. You will find one Alliance Française, and we are happy to be able to work in Jamaica. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Thank you very much, Larry. Have to say Larry. I always want to say Larry. <laughs> Larry. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, so because of the pandemic, uh, have you done anything online uh, in terms of cultural events? Were you able to do that? Um, yes, actually. Um, so we mentioned the fact that the teaching has moved from face to face to online classes. But we also had this very difficult task of maintaining French culture alive um, in mm -hmm. Jamaica while uh, um, having this COVID-19 pandemic going on. And that's, that's the most challenging aspect of it, I mean, because doing classes online is pretty straightforward, but how really do you make people interested in 
the culture of an of a country um, through online means um, because the the traditional way that we were doing that were really face to face events. I mean, Fête de la Musique, which is a yeah. international mm -hmm. music mm -hmm. festival, you would have Jamaican artists and French artists coming in the island and performing for uh, the Jamaican people. And we couldn't do that anymore. So we really had to think hard of new ways to to keep that alive. We also had a French conversation meetup every Tuesday, something called Talk French Tuesday, where um, in Kingston, um, in a restaurant, every Francophile could come and you know meet up and talk French. This event, well, it was pretty easy for us to have it online. So on Zoom, French people, well, French speaking people, sorry, could come and meet with other people like them and talk about different topics. For instance, um, on the International Women's Day last year, we had like a discussion about um, how women rights so are did going. did it work well online? It's working pretty well. Yes, there there are improvements that we can make, obviously, um, in terms not only on time, the, the right time for people to, to be there because also of the curfew, um, people have to travel back home and to log in. So it so can be a challenge. So what time do you have? We usually what have these events have? Um, around like 6, 6, 6.30 p.m. So in that way, people are mostly home and they have the time to join our events but yeah we we organize um also digital versions of for instance i talked about french de la musique we had an online edition where french artists and jamaican artists were performing and we also work closely we have a network of um alliance française in the caribbean so it's the alliance in other Caribbean islands, such as Barbados, Trinidad, St. Vincent, Grenada. And we organize competitions like quizzes, like um, all kinds of events with them. And it, it that works must really be very well. exciting. Yes, it's very exciting. And I must say that Jamaica is performing very well. <laughs> the last one we won, actually. So we, we are always in the top three. Felicitations. Okay. Yes, so big up team Jamaica. <laughs> That's very good. <laughs> okay, so uh, for September, I'm assuming that you have classes, right? Yes, so the okay. way... What levels are we talking about? We actually have classes for every level of French. So if you are a beginner, you've never done French before, um, I think we are the best place for you to start. Um, because we we work also with the best French teachers in Jamaica, which is something really important for us to have a team of teachers that not only teaches you the language, but also all the all the teachers we have have lived in France for okay. some time. So you know they have the cultural references, and mm -hmm. they can also share their experience of the country with the students. So we have beginners classes, we have intermediate classes, so people who've done French for some time and they want to move on to the advanced level. We also have classes for people um, around the B, B1 to C, C1 level, you know, so these are, these are people that are quite advanced in the language. And these are for the group classes, but if you have special needs, we also have private classes for you, depending on your level. The teacher will do an assessment of where you are and where you want to go. And we will design you a specific um, curriculum for you to move on and reach to the level that you want. And also, I want to mention that these classes I talked about are for adults, but we also have an offer for teenagers and CSEC students who want to have um, some help with their French in order to take those exams. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so what is the youngest age can you take at the Alliance? Um, we're looking at uh, students from, you know, eight years old 
going up. Um, we are actually working on uh, something that we would like to offer pretty soon is uh, teaching for lower age, um, like kids, you know, from five years old, because the earliest you start learning a language, the easiest it will also be for you um, to master it. And we know how very easy for, for kids it is to pick up uh, languages. So we are working also on programs for for kids and other age uh, for them to, to start learning French with us. But these would have to be face-to-face -face because ah. I, I do think that it's quite challenging to have a five years old sitting in front of the screen mm -hmm. for like one hour. And um, unfortunately, because of COVID right now, um, we were not really able to to start those this program. But this is something that we really hope to get rolling um, as soon as the, the, yes, the measures are more flexible. Mm -hmm. OK. So uh, let's say that uh, one of our viewers uh, is interested in taking an exam. Mm -hmm. So uh, what kind of exams do you have? Okay, so we have the a wide range of exams, but the most, I would say, um, famous one and also the only one that you can uh, have in Jamaica is that is offered by Alain Sanchez is the DELF and the DALF exam. Which Can you explain are, the difference between the DELF and the DALF for us, please? Yes, it's really about your level. Uh, actually, DALF is for people that are advanced French speakers, like C1 to C2, and DELF is for people who are below C1. So it means Diplôme d'études de langue française, um, DELF, which is uh, the translation, and it's the internationally recognized French certification delivered by the French uh, Ministry of Education back in France. Okay, so Alliance Française is the only DELF and DALF exam center in Jamaica. So this is one exam that the students can take, but we also offer some other exams, namely the TEF, which are which is the TEF test d'étude de langue française, and the TEF Canada. So this exam is actually one I, I would like to speak a little bit about because many of our Jamaican students are actually learning French with us because of migration needs to Canada. Mm -hmm. Because as you guys know, Canada is not only an English speaking country, but it's also a French speaking country. And when you apply for a Canadian visa, um, if you do have French proficiency, you will get much more points than somebody that only speaks English. So it actually really helps you if you learn French and you take this TEF Canada exam with Alliance Française, which will really help you um, on your application process. So for this exam, we, we recommend you to be at the B1 level also in order to, to take it because it, it can be quite challenging. And we also offer um, special classes, uh, TEF prep class for you to get ready to take this exam. I have actually uh, done a video on the TEF, the TEF. Uh, just for the oral, because there are right. two sections, there's section A and section B. And I felt that it was necessary to uh, come up with a video so that people can understand what they will have to do uh, when taking this exam. I'm only talking about the oral here. Yes. Uh, I'm just going to share, Larry, if you allow me very quickly, just to share uh, one I'm just going to share um, the thumbnail. <laughs> sure. Okay, if you don't mind, uh, just to show you that. Okay, let me see if I can find it. 
Okay, so first, CEO is about the the different levels A1, B1, sorry, A1, A2, B1, B2, C1, C2. So if you don't know what it is, watch this and you will know exactly what it is. And for the TEF, this is the thumbnail for the first one, which is section A. And you have another one, section B. Okay, so it's on right. French Open, so you can actually watch and it will give you an idea of what you are expected to do. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. yes. So, so for the test, you have four four components: um, compréhension écrite, compréhension orale, expression écrite, and expression orale. So you actually have four um, exercises to go through, of, and it's quite long. Actually, it's about three hours exam. So you see, it's it's a lot of pressure for also some of the students, you know, because of the fact that it's something they need and want for moving to Canada. But we are the best place for you to get ready to take this without any worries. And also maybe something to add to this is that unlike the DELF, it's not an exam uh, which has a pass or fail. Right. It's not a pass or fail. It's yes. more about it, it assessing really, the level of, yes, of it really the candidate. You, right. Which, what is your level on these skills of writing, reading, understanding, and expressing yourself in French? You don't fail or pass the test. That's it right. really gives you the level, but obviously the higher your level will be, um, the best it will be for the Canadians to say, okay, he's gonna, we're gonna give him more points than points, somebody else. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. But I want to say, um, because this is something that we are asked a lot of time, we do not work with the Canadian authorities, we are not a Canadian institution. <laughs> we only offer the TIFF Canada exam, but Alliance Française cannot help you with getting a visa or a job or housing in Canada. Okay. Because that's something that some people have asked us in the past. And I think it's important to clarify that. We are affiliated to the French government obviously um because for instance i work with and for the french embassy in jamaica mm -hmm. but we are in no way linked to the canadian um, authorities so viewers i hope you've heard that <laughs> <laughs> okay so when is going to be your exam sessions for the tef and the delf and dalf have you okay, got so dates already? I will soon have the dates for the DELF and the DALF, which will be in December, early December. This is what I can say today. Uh, the exact dates will be communicated uh, next week. Um, but for so for the DELF and the DALF, very important to know is that there are two sessions usually during the year, one in the summer and one in December. Unfortunately, because of COVID, um, because this has to be seated exam with you being at the place with people, um, we had to postpone it until we get um, clearance to actually host the, the sessions. But we will be having this session in December for sure. For TEF, on the other hand, it's really up to the students to pick up an exam date, okay? We only ask you for a three weeks notice for registration, <clears throat> but the way it's done, it's actually done on the computer for this one. So you come to the Alliance, you will have the computer and the system ready for you to take the exam and it's one-on-one. -on -one. It will be just you taking the exam on that day that you want to take it. It's just that you need to let us know three weeks before and mm -hmm. we will organize everything. 
So they will actually have to have a face-to-face -face exam, right? Yes, for the TEF, you actually have to come to sit at the Alliance. But not for the DELF? For the DELF, yes, you also have to come and sit, sit for mm -hmm. it. So that would be face to face. But the difference is that for the TEF, um, it will be only you and the examiner, mm -hmm. the oral examiner, and myself as the TEF uh, responsible of the center. So that's only like three people in the room, whereas for okay. the DELF, it will be more people. This okay. is why it was um, challenging Post for point. us. Yes. Right. OK. Hmm, interesting. All right. So what is your final word, Larry? <laughs> well, <laughs> or your final... advice, or what do you want to say? Well, I I want to say that I know in Jamaica the the most taught foreign language is Spanish. Okay, so we we are in a socio linguistic context that is quite challenging for French speakers. But um, I want to say that it's always great to learn this language. That is first of all, it's a beautiful language. Not gonna lie, French is a language of love, of romance, of fashion. Um, but it's also a language that will really help you if, as we talked about, um, if you want to migrate to Francophone countries, it's not just Canada, you have Belgium in Europe, you have Switzerland, and let's not forget about Francophone Africa that is hugely growing. And it is estimated that French will be actually the third most spoken language in the world in 2050. So it's really a great language to learn. And you know where we are. Alliance Francaise Jamaica is here to help you with everything you need in French. We didn't mention that, but we also offer translation services and interpretation. So if you have official documents that you want to be translated in French, you can also come to us if you are having a conference with French people and you need live translation, we can also offer that service. So, je vous attends à l'Alliance Française. <laughs> okay, so I will uh, put the, the details. So that sure. is the, you know, the address, the phone number, etc. after the live. Okay, because I'm not on YouTube, I'm on really StreamYard, so I will yes. put all this information afterwards. Uh, there was another oh, question I, I had for you. Uh, yes. What currency would you be using for people who are outside of Jamaica? Oh, for the people who, uh, who are interested in, in, yes. in one of your classes, for example, or even your exam. Um, how is well, that going we, to we we charged. Uh, we have we use PayPal for for people outside of Jamaica who wants to to take classes with us. So we we use US dollars and euros. Okay. So the, those do, those two currencies are available for payments. Okay. Well, I think that's really clear. <laughs> yes. Oh, and don't forget to follow us on our social media. Um, so for Instagram, we are very active on there. Uh, we post uh, some French words and really interactive stuff for you to keep yourself uh, engaged with French culture. So our Instagram is AF underscore Jamaica. So that would be of great help if um, you give us a follow. Okay. I forgot to tell uh, my audience that if they had any questions, please write them in the comment. Okay, I mean, it is for me it's so obvious. If you have a question, you can just uh, uh, put them there. I don't see any question at the moment for, for La Larry, uh, but Larry is staying with us, so you don't have to worry. Even if I'm going to uh, remove Larry from the screen for a minute, uh, <laughs> 
he's, he's there. So at any point in time, I can put him back on, on the live because I have uh, another guest. And this guest is one student who uh, did some French at the Alliance Francaise. Okay, so Larry, stay with us, but I'm just going to remove you from the live. Are you okay with that? Okay, I'm put on. Okay. All right, so uh, the person is Sean Henry. Okay. Bonjour, tout le monde. Bonjour, Sean. Bonjour, bonjour. Bonjour. Thank you very much for accepting to, to be on, on the on this live because um, just having the director is it for me it wasn't enough i felt that i needed a, a student because you know the director is always going to say good things about the alliance so i wanted to hear from the students okay so <laughs> okay. uh so i understand that you you uh learn french at the alliance can you explain to us how you ended up at the alliance please um so my journey to french um <laughs> yes it, it, it took some time um i when i think about it my first experience with in french would probably be in high school um it wasn't really taught as a subject but because we had some quiz affairs and i was the one who was looking into french as a hobby um and i had as a, a few hobby lessons. right and we, we did a few lessons within a a joining high school. Um, it wasn't a lot, may, may I say, it wasn't a lot, but it was enough to, to whet my appetite, if you wish. Um, years later, when I went to the University of Technology, um, French was offered as an elective, um, but interestingly, it was being taught by a Cuban teacher. <laughs> that was okay. an interesting <laughs> affair. Um, okay. But still, it was enough to, to, to have me interested. And so when I left, I wanted to find a source. And so I was looking for the Canadian, uh, not the Canadian, I'm sorry, There's too much of the director just now. I was looking for the French embassy and mm -hmm. I couldn't find anything relating to teaching French. And I found the Alliance and I, I attended. And I must say, I've not regretted it. Okay, all right. Um, but can you tell, tell us why why this passion for French? Well, what exactly do you like about French? <laughs> it's 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 uh, an experience is very hard to explain to to someone who is not experiencing it as well. But the best <laughs> I can good. say is that um, I'm a I'm a little bit of a history buff, and when I look into culture and language history, French always shows up. Apart from it being the romantic language, by the way, shall I say that? <laughs> and, um, <laughs> Are you married? We, oui, madam. So I, um, you're using French to your wife? A little bit of that. <laughs> uh, yeah, a little <laughs> okay. bit of that is necessary at times. That's good. Um, yeah, so if you want to up your game in any way, <laughs> it's normally nice to, 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 to use the French culture, the French language, the French history because it's very, very intertwined with English. Yeah. Okay. That being one, by the way, let me slide it in. Learn a second language is, 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 is a good thing. And as the director said, for Jamaica, it's, it's always been Spanish. And um, I find yes. that that is pretty, it's great for the Spanish, but it's not so good for French when French is really one of those languages that you, you, you will have this whole world open up to you in the Caribbean and worldwide if you knew that. And so for me and, and my children, we will be learning some French. Okay. All right. So, so, I, so would you say that they will learn French as opposed to Spanish? Uh, well, I, I can't really choose for them, but True. definitely yes. French will be among them. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. Okay. And uh, so you did it at the Alliance. Uh, and I, 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 do you still, are you still at the Alliance now? Currently, no. And, and partly okay. because of the, the pandemic situation that was mentioned okay. by the director earlier. But I yeah. was a student up to, was it 2020? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I was all right. 
What I would like to know is, um, have you had the opportunity to actually use French in Jamaica? Um, several times. Um, okay, where, can you tell where? us more about that? Oh, um, so where I, I work, incidentally or coincidentally. Um, oh, okay, so the, you use it for work? Okay. We, um, the headquarters for the company I work is, is actually French. Um, and so I found in my communication with a few of my supervisors, direct supervisors, and also with communications to headquarters, I have dabbled in the French a bit, and it has made communication for me um, a good thing. Um, I have been able to express myself a little bit better than most persons could because of the, the cultural understanding and also the use of the language. Are you going to be promoted? <laughs> because you can speak I, French? <laughs> I don't know if it has anything to do with it, but I've been promoted several times. <laughs> ah, ah, well, you know, we never know. <laughs> we never know. No, we never know. <laughs> you never know. Yes. Okay. Uh, I have another question. Is related to um, comparing because uh, you learned French at school. You learned it at university and you also learned it at the Alliance. Well, I'm not going to say, to ask you to say which one was the, you know, the best really, uh, because each, you know, at school is done a particular, particular way and so on. But what I want to know is which one do you feel was, um, which one did you, well, in terms of teaching methods, which one suited you best? Well, for me, that's a very easy one. It's, it's the Alliance. Um, Why? Simply, be, simply because it's not just being taught as this abstract thing, as it would be in, 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 in another context, but at the Alliance, you are getting your cultural references. So mm -hmm. you, you, when something is said, you, you're understanding the context. There's background to it. There's even some history to it. Um, and so you have a deeper understanding of what you're trying to say and some of the cultural references. And that makes it easier and that makes it better, at least for me. Okay. All right. So, Sean, what is your final advice to somebody who is between two minds about starting French? Well, um, it's, for me, it's very simple. Get on board. Do some <laughs> French. Um, we, we await you with welcome arms. And again, it's not just for the fun of it. You can, trust me. But it's also for the opportunities. Again, a wide world is open to you in the Caribbean, worldwide. The dom-tom, as they would call it. Um, and also, the cultural references, man. You get a little bit of opulence in your life, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, <laughs> so, come on board. <laughs> yes. So, what would you say, uh, Larry, to Sean? <laughs> I mean, Sean summed everything, man. I, I just love his testimony. Um, and, yes, I, and when you ask about either learning French or Spanish, I think the both are so closely linked that mm -hmm. when you learn one, it's going to help you for the other. You know, so they are not excluding each other. True. So Sean's yeah. um, children can learn French and Spanish. Um, but uh, yeah, you, you, it's, it's a language that really, really is going to to give you a deeper understanding of the world. And as Sean said also, of even English, um, one thing I find really interesting is hearing, because I'm a French native, is hearing English people saying those French words all the time, and they don't even know <laughs> these are French words. And it's, it's really interesting how every language influences each other. And really, learning one also helps you with Mm -hmm. even your native language so it's a great experience um, for for everybody i think and also to be able to meet new people um to share their culture their reference 
it's it's just great and i would add that uh, as a french person who grew up in france uh, i had to do two languages All right so yeah. i had to do english and spanish I didn't have a choice. I didn't want to do Spanish at the time. I thought that English was enough, but I had to do it. Uh, and now I don't regret at all because even in Jamaica, I I do speak Spanish from time to time because we have, you know, as you know, you there are many, uh, Cubans in uh, in uh, Jamaica. And it, for me, it's great to be able to understand what they're saying. Uh, some may not think that I understand, but, you know, I can understand and speak as well. So, you know, uh, having two languages, I think, is is very helpful. It is. And it was helpful for me when I went to Cuba because we had some difficulties and I was able to, to sort out everything thanks to my uh, Spanish because I was with my husband at the time and he can't speak Spanish and I have to say my Spanish help me on that day <laughs> so because they didn't want to hear any english so i had to do it in spanish so it it, it does it does help you know in your life and and also for in your career and i'm sure yeah. for you <laughs> you've noticed that you know it's it's always good to learn another language so oh and yeah. i wanted to add don't forget paris 2024 I know a lot of my Jamaicans, they love the Olympics. Jamaica is always mashing everything up at the athletics. <laughs> yes. So if you want to go support the Jamaican athletes in Paris in 2024, I think it's great for you to also start learning French now because that would definitely make your life easier when you are in Paris. That's true. Um, because, um, well, French people are known to not being the best at all the languages. <laughs> so if you want to go to the groceries or to the bakery and to buy bread, I think it would be great if you know how to say une baguette s'il vous plaît. And That's then right. you can be able to go to the stadium and cheer for the Jamaican athletes. So, yeah. That's very good, Larry. That is true. That is true. Yeah. Okay, so Sean, have you got anything else to add? Uh, again, anybody who is thinking about joining French, um, please, it is an opportunity that you should capitalize on. And we have stated already, we can't keep beating the horse, but we have stated already the many um, benefits that you should want to exploit. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I know that Sean, you cannot stay with us, so I understand uh, very well, so it's not a problem. I would like to thank you for coming. And uh, well, I hope that you will uh, start again your French pretty soon. Okay. I'm waiting for you, Sean. Thank you very much for having me. Um, thank you for the invite. I'm always happy to share. Thank you very much, Sean. I yes, appreciate you. it. Yes. Okay. Au revoir. Au revoir. Ciao. <laughs> okay. Actually, I didn't think about 2024. You're, you're right. I mean, yeah, people have yeah. time to learn for 2024. And There's a question I didn't ask, Larry. Uh, when you have classes, how long, how long uh, do they last? Is it one hour class per week? Is it two hours? Okay, it's four. So it's four hours per week. Ah, um, it's four hours. Okay. Yeah, four hours, two hours sessions. Okay, so two times two hours every week for eleven weeks. That's how the term goes. So now the September term that just started um this week will end um in at the end of November. And I want to say you still have time to register for this term if you're interested um, because it just started and the teachers will be happy to also get you back on track if you missed some of the classes. Okay. All right. So, Larry, I have another guest. Her name is Erin. I don't know if you know her, but... Uh, yes, she's yes. <laughs> oh, you know her. Okay. So yeah. she's a, she, she's obviously she learned French at the Alliance Française. Mm -hmm. uh, I wanted to have 
two people because I do believe in uh, gender equality. So uh, <laughs> I know that with languages, we always have more women than That's men, true. but I do believe that it's good for other males to see that French yeah. can be learned by men, you know? Yeah, uh, actually, most of our students are females, you know, at uh, the Alliance. So we do have, um, I think maybe the, because it's so romantic, the more drawn into it. I don't know. <laughs> but um, we, men, please learn French. That's my message. Yes, to really, to really impress your Exactly. You, we just had the testimony of Sean saying that, He's sweeten up his wife with some French, so. <laughs> <laughs> so <Okay>. yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay, so Larry, uh, I'm going to remove you again, uh, just sure. for a short while, uh, so that uh, the next student, Erin, can come, okay? okay? So I'm going to ask uh, Erin to come. Bonjour, Erin. Bonjour, salut. Comment ça va? Ça va bien, merci. Et toi? Ça va, merci. All right, so Erin, we have to speak in English because uh, we oh, are wow. really talking to an English uh, speaking audience. And uh, first of all, thank you for accepting uh, to be on French I'm action. I'm so glad to be here. <laughs> so, I mean, you're thanking me, but I'm super excited to, to share. So, um, I should be thanking you to, for having me here. All right. So, Erin, can you uh, tell us how French, how how did you start French? I suppose you, you must have started at school. Yes. So Probably I, like Sean. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, my first, my introduction to French was in high school and when you chose between Spanish and French I told I chose French because my mom speaks some French and I wanted to have a secret language with her that my brother <laughs> could not hear or understand eventually they did out of context clues but it was all a secret thing and so um throughout high school until CXE I did French um and then it was when I was working after university just wanted to do stuff on my own and I thought of, okay, I really loved learning it. Let me try some more. So I did French at Alliance Francaise for a couple of years. And it was the teachers there who had um, encouraged me to teach English in France. And I think it was a program that was that you discussed in your last live. You, are you talking about the TAPIF program? Yes. Yes. Okay. That was wonderful. Oh my gosh. So I got to, to, to learn French while I was there. You know, like it was... I can appreciate when people say it's hard to learn a language, but it's there's a level where you have to kind of understand that you're going to sound so ridiculous, making <laughs> mistakes. I'm going so slowly, and which is why I'm so glad that we're talking in English right now because I would just be embarrassing myself. Um, <laughs> and and I actually did Alliance when I was um, at high school for extra lessons. So that was my introduction to Alliance. Oh, okay, okay. So, so are you saying that you actually had extra classes at the Alliance Française? Yeah. For, so they for what? For for CXE. Ah, okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. So for our free form exams, we did. I did extras at the Alliance, and it. I agree with Sean when he said it kind of gives context to things, because Alliance membership gives you access to movies and music in. Um, and books in French, you know, so there's more than just a textbook, more than just what mm -hmm. the textbook shows you exists, but you're like, oh, these, there are even more things and there's a whole world that you're mm. not aware of until you start learning it. Mm. So uh, have you been able to use French afterwards? I have. Um, let's see. I use French when I speak with my friends from France well, since I've come back. And so you kept in touch with them? Yes. So I have a couple That's of friends nice. who insist on writing their WhatsApp messages in French. So um, I have to practice with them. I have been practicing over COVID when Alliance had their, ex their events with other alliances in the Caribbean. And so they had these quizzes where 
I knew none of the answers, but it was a learning experience <laughs> and it was fun. So, um, you know, you get to practice that way. And I practiced at home with mommy and I've learned how many of my other friends or people I become associated with that have done French as well. So, you know, it's kind of, it's exciting to know that more and more people have done it. Mm, okay. So I had the same question for you. Uh, you did it at school. You did it uh, at the Alliance. So I guess the best experience must have been, I guess, It would have been where? Alliance. It would have been Alliance. And that's partly because they introduced me to the, the program to bring me to France in the first place. So it was, it was Alliance. And the, by extension, the experience of, of having French in an immersive Ex, um, circumstance mm -hmm. and to um, and when I came back I was able to do my B2 exam after coming back because I had everything was pretty fresh so it was and I did conversation extras with them so it was it was lovely I, I get to practice I um, I think Allianz had the a more holistic um, teaching Okay, so what would you say to those who are between two minds at, you know, about learning French? <laughs> okay, um, so I, one of the things I know that people say about learning languages is I just don't, I just can't do it. I just don't have the skill, like some people are good at math, some people are good at languages, and I think that that's not the case. So when it comes to learning, anybody can, and everybody starts as a beginner at some point and everybody feels remedial and everybody feels a little bit stupid when they're starting out you know and i can understand i've been there i have felt self-conscious saying things you know but it's kind of appreciating that that's part of the learning process you're never alone in that part of, in that in that process and you will get better and getting better feels so good you know when you're able to speak to someone in a full sentence in a conversation it's it's it it makes you feel so um i don't know you know empowered you know and even better you feel that you can communicate with more people um when you have a when you have a second language like now i'm learning german and i can i could and learning french helped me to learn german and um i know just like what i think it was sean who said learning one language really does help you to learn others mm. and it's 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 really lovely when you get to speak to people in their own language because they can, they are a whole lot more, uh, what's the word? They're a whole lot more warm. They're a whole lot more authentic mm. when they speak in their own language. Because when people speak English as a second language, you can hear that they're hesitating, you know? Mm. So it's good to meet them halfway. So when you were in France, where exactly did you go during your, the TAPIF, you know, when you went on the TAPIF program? Where did you go? I went to Lille. So Lille okay. is the mo northernmost city, I believe, and it was super cold, but I did not mind because the what they say is that the colder it is, the warmer the people. So they. Oh, did I never it. heard that. <laughs> oh, they say it. Maybe that's yes. But you know, they say it, and then they are. They did meet me halfway when I was like really making an effort, you know, and so that's how I learned. You know, you make an effort, you're going to make mistakes, you're going to sound a little bit. You're going to make mistakes with the grammar or the vocab or whatever, but people correct you and then you have a conversation, you know, it's, it was lovely. It was, um, it was all encompassing. I, just, I can't say enough about it. Like I could have a whole conversation with you about it. So are you going to continue and take the C1, for example, since you have C, the, since you, uh, you passed your B2? Okay, so I would love to. Because it's quite a bit of work between oh, yeah. B2 and C1, okay? Yeah, and because my B2 was a couple of years back, I, and the reason, this is exactly the reason why I don't have this conversation all in French on La YouTube Live. Um, so I would have to review this French that I've done before and then do the C1. But I would love to, because that would mean that I would be even more capable of surviving, of working in entirely French environments, of in European ex environments, um, visiting the French Caribbean and and blending in, you know, because mm -hmm. when you have an when you have the accent really well, people can't tell the difference that you're mm. not from there, you know, and that's that's <laughs> itself 
pretty empowering. Hmm. That's very nice. Yes. I'm just going to uh, ask uh, Larry to come back. Okay, Larry. <laughs> mm -hmm. So what, have you got anything to say to Erin? Well, I want to say, first of all, thank you, Erin, for coming to speak about your experience. And she really um, pointed out, I think one of the, the best aspects is really to be part of this big world that we share with people, with other languages, other cultures. And I do think that's, that's what makes us also humans and that interesting, you know, the fact that we're not all the same speaking just one language. I mean, nowadays, because of the, the way the world is, well, English and then is the international language. And sadly, many English speakers, because of that, they don't make the efforts of mm -hmm. learning another um, language because they already speak the international one. But um, as you can see with Erin's experience, the fact that she was able not only to live in another country, but to interact with the people of that country with mm -hmm. their language, it made it very um, a great time for her that she will always remember. So I think her testimony was really, really great in that sense. I think my mm. point of pride was when I was there and I, somebody asked me for directions. And I gave right, it to them and you friends. were able, they, right, you they see? They thought I belonged there. I was, I was, I, I thought, oh gosh, I get to blend in. You know, yes. when, people ask, when people spoke to me or even they would speak really, really quickly. Mm. And I would have to slow them down and remind them that French is not my language. And, yeah. um, and they said, oh my gosh, because yes. your accent is so great. And I was like, oh, this is, uh, I, I mean, I was on top yes. of the world. This is like the, one of the highest moments of being there. Yeah. Yes, I can imagine, yes, yes. And yes, the little people are very warm, even though it's one of the uh, coldest cities of France. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, very nice yeah. people in here. I can attest. Okay. Well, um, Larry, there's something you didn't mention. Uh, you didn't talk about uh, membership at the Alliance. Oh, Erin talked about it uh, indeed. Um, yes, I realized yes, she we, did. And yes, she <laughs> brought it up. We do have um, a membership that really allows you to come to our office and to experience our library. And as she said, we have all kind of French books um, we have. Um, so, so I could come, I could come movies. to the Alliance and borrow a book? Yes, yes, once you're a member. Um, it also brings you the opportunity to be part of the committee of Alliance Francaise because uh, the way we are, we are a local Jamaican organization, even though we work in par with the French um, authorities. It's at the end of the day, it's a Jamaican nonprofit organization, and we have a committee of dedicated people who are invested and who love French and French culture. And being a member allows you also to run for election at the board of Alliance Francaise. And that is something that uh, you know every year we have our annual general meeting with elections yeah. and if you want to get involved in promoting French and also to meet people like you who love the language and the culture I think taking a membership at Alliance is the way to go and it's very cheap I mean it's three thousand Jamaican dollars for one year so why not Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I think that uh, everybody uh, who is here, I think that they got all the information uh, they needed. Um, I will obviously put in the description uh, a little bit later. I will add the uh, the address, the phone number, and so on. And remember. You do not have to be from Jamaica to be online, okay? So you can 
you can apply. Uh, you can uh, go into any any class which you think would be useful for you mm. at the Alliance. So, well, that's all we have time for, really, because uh, I think we've covered everything. If you don't have anything to add, then and I don't see any question either, then uh, we're going to uh, stop this live. But I have to say, it's, it was very good today. I, I, I fully enjoyed uh, the, those interviews. And uh, Larry, a big thank you. A thank big you. thank you. Um, and thank Erin you, as well. Thank you for inviting okay. me, Larry. Thank you for coming, Erin. <laughs> thank you, Jenny. Thank you for having yes. us. <laughs> All right. So bye bye. Au revoir. Bye. Au revoir. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to like, to like the live if you really enjoy it. It's and always okay. nice to have a lot of likes and it's always good to have a lot of subscribers because at least we feel that we are doing something which is watched by people. Mm. However, for this channel, I understand that 60% of my viewers haven't subscribed, subscribed to the channel. Mm. I don't know why. And it's free of charge. Guys, it's free. <laughs> it's just one click. <laughs> <laughs> just one click. Just one click. And yes. You have so many videos. You already have so many videos. Yes, there's a lot of videos. And also what I would like to say to those who uh, are planning to start, if you go to the blue videos, they are for you because it's for absolute beginners. If you are uh, doing CSEC or GCSC or DELF A2, uh, you can click on the gray videos. And uh, some videos will be coming up pretty soon. Uh, for CAPE. So now I'm going to go a little bit higher now in terms of level so that, you know, there's something for everybody. And in addition to all this, I would say that there's little videos like songs, you know, there's one song in the video. There's also a story which I created. Another one is coming pretty soon. Maybe I will release it for Christmas. I don't know. But uh, the idea is for you to have French in different forms. A story is a very good way of learning French as well. The story which is there is all in the present tense. So you don't have to be an expert, you know, in terms of grammar. It's all in the present tense. Now, the next one I'm going to release is will be all in the past tense. So that's going to be a little bit more for those who know uh, about, about French. Yes, Erin? Um, I'm looking forward to the videos where you help me to do C1. So that would be my personal. I haven't reached there yet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that would be my personal request. All right. But what I'm trying to do is, is to help the students because the reality is that there's not much on YouTube for the students from the Caribbean. It's very limiting, limited. So what I'm trying to do is, is, is to show them there's, there's ways of learning and... Um, there's some quiz I have already also um, uh, created. Unfortunately, they're not watching the quizzes. It's, it's as if they, they, they are afraid of not getting uh, the, the, right, <laughs> uh, the mm -hmm. right score. But at the end of the day, I, for me, the way I see it is that you can still learn through quizzes, you know? Yeah, definitely. So, I mean, Erin we... talked about the, the quizzes that we did with the other Caribbean islands, and, and she learned a lot. After yeah. I got them wrong. So. <laughs> Which one you're talking about? We, Sorry, we, was... The quiz that we do with the other Alliance Francaise in the okay. Caribbean. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yes. it's about the culture of the Caribbean islands, and we, we also make it a way for you guys to learn about the French Caribbean, which is a topic that is not very common, I, mm -hmm. I know, 
Uh, many people don't know about Martinique, about Guadeloupe, and even less about French Guyana. That's right. And yeah. we are also making sure that in those events, we also give you the these references about these places that are closer than Paris <laughs> <laughs> if you want to go practice your French. Yes. Uh, there's actually one one quiz I did on the French Caribbean. It's the one with the sea. Um, there's okay. one on. Uh, it's on yeah French French Caribbean, including I think Canada. I think I put Canada in there, or maybe not. I think it was just the Caribbean, uh, French in the region. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, so there's a quiz like that. So what I'm saying to uh, those who want to learn, I mean, even if you get a very disastrous score, <laughs> what is important is can you remember the answer, okay? Because I straight away put the answer after after each question. So you would mm -hmm. know if you, you know how many points you will get. So it, it really doesn't matter. It's more about learning, is to find a different way of learning. There's another quiz, which is on uh, idioms. And students don't realize, but idioms is very important, especially to get like those grade ones in the exams. It's very important. So uh, even if, if, if you feel that your score is not good uh, because you didn't so do so well, it doesn't matter. What matters is that at the end of the day, you learn 10 new expressions. And then you can go back to the video to, to see, okay, oh, oh, yes, I forgot this. And, and also, whenever you, you uh, watch one of my videos, make sure you always have a pen and some paper. Okay, it's not about just clicking on the video and that's it. No, you have to make notes. You have to, to write things down because that's how we're going to remember. So yeah. that's what I wanted to say. No, I, I, I have, I'm going to do those quizzes as I promised. Um, and I will be absolutely honest with them. I won't cheat. I want to know those scores, Erin. Yes, I will not <laughs> cheat. I will not cheat. Although nobody's watching. <laughs> I have integrity. Go, Erin. Go. I see the <laughs> chat. Everybody is the go, Erin. Go, Erin. So, yeah. yeah. We support you. I, I told you all my the... friends to come and watch. So, <laughs> ah, okay. sure that's, nice. that's great. Are they going to learn French at the Alliance, though? Some yes, of my guys. Friends come. Started learning French already. So, yes. Oh, they're doing French already. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Okay. That's fine. All right, so Larry, all the best at the Alliance. Are you? How long are you going to stay with us in Jamaica? Because I understand that the contracts are short-term contracts, aren't they? Yes, and unfortunately, so I should be there until next year, February. Oh, okay. That time. is going to go by very, Yes, very. that's going to be fast, and I'll be very, very sad, but... You know, somebody else will also come and make as good as a job that I've tried to do during those two years. Mm. And hopefully that person will not have to deal with COVID. <laughs> <laughs> Larry, just a, 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 a kind of personal question. Yes. I'm thinking of next year. Mm -hmm. I would probably ask you the question, what will you miss from Jamaica? Wow, Jamaican people. Yes, I, I just love how warm and proud Jamaican people are. And, you know, I, I, I'm not from this country, and yet I feel, I, I feel like I'm at, at, at home. So I really think that will what I'll miss the most, yes. It's interesting because each time I ask the question, it's always the same answer. <laughs> I guess. Yeah. Yes, yes. Very often we ask, uh, you, you know, because many French people come here, but they don't, you know, they have like a three year contract or two years and so on. And I always like to ask, um, 
and they always say the same thing. Always say the same thing. It's only a, a Chinese uh, lady. She said something totally different. When I asked yeah. her, she said, "The blue sky." <laughs> oh, yes, and and Drugport. Blue sky. Oh, <laughs> but of course, for you, for you, Larry, it's not the blue sky because you have it in. No, Latin. I have that okay. home, but so uh, that I, I don't true. have. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So. All right. So uh, let's keep in touch, shall we? And. Sure. Uh, once again, thank you very much. Merci beaucoup du fond du cœur. And thank you for watching. I don't know when the next live is going to be. As I explained to you before, it's all based on my guests. So if no one is available next Sunday, then there, will no, there won't be any live next Sunday. All right? Okay. Au revoir. Au revoir. Au revoir. Au revoir. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.